Morning, folks. Here, listen. Listen closely. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but the peepers have started to sing. That officially makes it spring. So where are we? Today is April 5th. It is 10.20 a.m., 10.23. You can see my batteries are all nice and charged. It is 8.8 .8 degrees centigrade for my friends up in Canada or any place else where it's real nice and cold you could see we're finally warming up here in the Hudson Valley I don't know this one is doing the flashy thing I think it needs batteries so it's you know 45 50 degrees so here we are oh another sign of spring sorry for the wind guys there you go I don't know could you guys see those Right. I guess those are called daffodils. They're starting to come up. And depending on where you walk, every once in a while you can kind of see little hints of like grass growing hither and dither. <sighs> Guys, when I uh, kind of get into a project um, that I have not mastered, that I'm not good at, I try to stay with it until I achieve some sort of competence. And you guys saw I wasted like a million days getting that stupid tire mounted. But once again, finally it's mounted and I learned how to do it. And now I can change tires myself. And I showed you guys this one yesterday. Well, I put a tube in it, right? And you could see the tube isn't bulging out of any holes or anything. I could probably use just a tad more air. Yeah, maybe not. But so that's that's something I I try to do um, more for myself than anything else. Um, even if it cost me fifty bucks to get that tire mounted, it, it would have probably been cheap because God, I had a waste. I, I had to waste at least five hours, if not ten hours on it. Probably closer to ten hours. I mean, every day I'd dick with it for a half hour, an hour. And you guys only saw half the videos of it. And you have no clue how much profanity I spread around that thing trying to get it to go on. So, anyway, just a, a quick commentary about uh, trying to stick with things until you learn how to do it and, and figure it out. Um, get the tools, you know, figure out that the rims have to be really, really clean to go on. Um, I had some aluminum rims out back, or there were a couple of aluminum rims out back, and uh, somebody cut the tires off of them. I was debating whether to keep them or get rid of them, and quite honestly, after changing um, this tire on this aluminum rim and seeing what a piece of cake it was I'm not getting rid of any aluminum rims uh, aluminum rims are just so much easier to slip tires on and off of than the steelies um, the aluminum I guess is a little slippier aluminum doesn't corrode and when you put the uh, you put the uh, tire lube on aluminum it's like grease lightning man those tires go right on and off like a piece of cake so um, for those of you who you know, perhaps have all-terrain vehicles and some aluminum rims, and you have a choice between keeping the aluminum and dumping the steelies. Uh, the aluminum is so much easier to deal with. This aluminum rim has a pretty good hit here, and I don't know if you guys could see it. It's not the camera angle. It really is kind of cattywampus here, right? It's it's really not the tire, the camera angle. So anyway, I'm gonna I, I pop for the twenty dollars for a tube. And I learned aluminum ribs are a lot easier to deal with. So there's, there's that. Um, I was asked for a video about my Cushman, um, about, you know, shoot a video of the Cushman. Well, there are one, two, three, four, four Cushmans. So I guess let's start out.
in the order, well, let's start out in the order that I'm near them. This is uh, an easy go Cushman. Uh, two headlights, one front tire. Um, you can kind of see the back of it there. Not well. I mean, two people could sit there. One, two. Excuse all the crap on it. My, uh, a lot of my vehicles become like exercise equipment, you know. You kind of, uh, you have all these great plans for it, and then uh, it ends up in most bedrooms or living rooms as a uh, clothing drying rack. Mine mostly ends up as a uh, storage. You can see a number 30 on this um, guy. It says easy go on it. This was um, Textron, bought Cushman, and kind of operated them both for a period of time. This has the two cylinder Olins in it. It's a dump. The back is a dump. It's an um, electric pump that runs the hydraulics. Um, the story on this guy uh, I bought it from the guy who bought it at the auction. I paid. I paid a lot of money for this thing. I think I paid like 800 bucks for it. Um, I got it running. I had to put a starter in it. I probably, with the front tire and all, I probably have a thousand bucks tied up in it completely. This was when I was money, making money hand over fist with uh, day trading. I was, uh, I had more money than I could spend. By the way, I got over that. So um, those days are, are over. But um, yeah, I bought this to use around the property. I don't know, you guys could kind of see the battery right there. Wheel thrill, obviously the steering wheel. This thing has a high low rear end plus a three speed transmission. Um, if you put it in high and you get it rolling down the highway, you could probably get it up to 50 or so. At 50 miles per hour, this thing is freaking this thing is scary at like 20 25 miles per hour at 50 i imagine this thing would be all over the place like deadly scary so um this this is the first cushman i bought um and what i'm going to do is i i'm sorry folks i'm going to end up having to break break these up so this is cushman number one i'm going to shoot a um a continuation video of, of the cushmans because uh it's I don't want this to run too long. Well, I'm over on the side of the garage. You can see the oversized countertop that I picked up. A couple of um, motors, golf cart motors here, and mufflers, and front wheel bearings, and chargers. Right? Two chargers, a tire, another motor. I think that's a two stroker down there. Axle for rear end that came off a boat trailer. Occasionally, when I get back here, another hoard of propane. Sometimes, when I get kind of into the backwoods here, I like to like to kind of get a couple of videos down so I have a clue of what I own. All right, folks, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start this up again, um, and we'll do we'll do the other beasts. So um, just give me give me a few seconds. Anyway, folks, remember. Tires down, handlebars up. Live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde, which, as I alluded, is coming right now.